Far away from the bright lights of cities, beyond the reach of civilization, in the most unforgiving corners of our planet, there exists a world dominated by mechanical giants. These are not ordinary machines. They are titans of steel and power, towering higher than two-story buildings and stretching longer than luxury yachts. Each of these behemoths is a feat of human engineering, machines so massive that they make regular trucks look like children's toys. Yet their story does not begin at the mind face. It begins in silent design studios where engineers hunch over three-dimensional models the size of entire walls, in foundries where rivers of molten steel glow brighter than sunrise, in logistics hubs where every single bolt must be flown or shipped to places whose names most people cannot pronounce. Before one wheel ever turns, a single truck has already circled the globe in parts, touched six continents, and consumed more electricity in its assembly than a small town uses in a week. Welcome to the realm of ultra-class off-highway mining trucks, the absolute kings of the mining world. They operate in some of the harshest environments on Earth, from the icy wastelands of Siberia to the scorching deserts of Australia, from the copper-rich Andes at 4,800 meters above sea level where oxygen is so thin that human lungs beg for mercy, to the tar sands of northern Alberta where winter air can snap steel like glass. These giants are built for one purpose, to move mountains literally. To put their size in perspective, the largest among them can weigh nearly 2 million pounds, stand as tall as two adult giraffes stacked head to hoof, and cost around $5 million each. Every time one of these monsters fires up its engine, you can feel the ground tremble three kilometers away. Seismographs in regional universities sometimes register the vibration as a micro-earthquake. They are as much a symbol of raw power as they are a testament to human ambition, an ambition that once convinced a Belarusian design bureau to build a truck so wide it cannot legally cross most European bridges without closing oncoming traffic. Today, we are diving deep into the incredible world of mining's mightiest machines, the five largest mining trucks on Earth. Buckle up, because what you are about to witness will redefine the limits of size and strength. But first, a warning. Once you see the world through the windscreen of a 450-ton hauler, ordinary life feels like a scale model. Highway semi-trucks will look like matchbox toys. Your sport utility vehicle will feel like a roller skate. And the next time you complain about a $100 fill-up, remember that the smallest truck on this list casually swallows enough diesel in one gulp to buy a decent second-hand car. The XCMG XDE440, born in March 2022 from the world's largest heavy equipment manufacturer. This is not just another mining truck, it is China's declaration to the world that it is here to dominate the ultra-class segment, and it brought fireworks. The XDE440 boasts an eye-popping 400 metric ton payload, making it nearly as tall as a three-story building and just 50 tons shy of a Bel AZ. At its core is a mighty MTU-20V4000C, 23 engine, delivering 3,755 horsepower and generating 9.5 million foot-pounds of cumulative wheel torque. Enough muscle to accelerate the 625-ton gross combination from 0 to 25 miles per hour in 55 seconds, roughly on par with a Toyota Prius, if the Prius weighed as much as a destroyer. With a 1,400-gallon fuel tank and a body capacity of 327 cubic yards, this machine matches its global rivals stride for stride. But the party piece is the drivetrain, a hybrid electric system that recovers 8% of downhill braking energy into supercapacitors, then reuses it on the next climb. In trials at a Mongolian coal mine, the system saved 1.3 million liters of diesel per truck per year, enough to run 3,000 Chinese taxis and cut carbon dioxide by 3,500 tons, the annual footprint of 770 households. Inside the cab, operators are treated like royalty, two plush heated, cooled, massaging seats stitched with red dragon embroidery, dual 15-inch 4K multi-information displays, a 360-degree camera system, 5G hotspot, and a mini-fridge that holds exactly 12 600-milliliter bottles of Sing Tao. The steering wheel is trimmed in Napa leather with aluminum shift paddles that control dynamic braking. The ceiling is a translucent OLED panel that can display anything from karaoke lyrics to live feed from the dispatch center. Voice recognition understands Mandarin, English, and rudimentary Spanish, say I am tired, and the seat inflates lumbar bags, darkens the glass, and plays bamboo flute music until the next dump point. XCMG did not forget the people who keep the beast alive. All filters are grouped at waist height on the left catwalk. A centralized grease station pumps 120 nipples automatically while the driver drinks coffee. The tires, size 59-80R63, are the same size used on the Bel AZ, so mines can swap inventory. Each tire weighs 5.1 tons and is shipped from Suzhou in a velvet bag to prevent scuffing. The truck's debut was theatrical. At Bauma China 2022, the XDE440 climbed a 13% ramp while carrying 400 tons of steel ingots, then stopped exactly on a coin-sized dragon emblem projected by laser. The demonstration livestream gathered 18 million viewers. Within 48 hours, XCMG's website crashed under 4,000 pre-orders. Still, even this dragon must kneel before the supreme overlord that has ruled for a decade, a machine so vast it has its own gravitational field. 
Number 3. Lieber T-284 The lightweight powerhouse. At number 3, the Lieber T-284 rolls in, a marvel of German engineering that proves you can be both colossal and clever. It is not just big, it is strategically designed to be the lightest truck in its class without compromising strength, giving it a massive advantage in fuel efficiency and productivity. This giant can shoulder a mind-bending 375 metric tons, the equivalent of carrying three Statue of Liberty replicas, including their concrete pedestals, in its bed. Underneath its massive frame lies a choice of either an 83-liter Lieber D9800 V20 or dual MTU-12 V4000 engines, with the most powerful configuration unleashing 4,023 horsepower. Like its competitors, it maxes out at 40 miles per hour, but it reaches that speed while weighing 30 tons less than the Caterpillar. Lieber's obsessive use of 900 megapascals quenched and tempered steel and cast aluminium hubs trims the chassis to a mere 237 tons empty. That 30-ton saving translates into one extra loaded cycle per day, which over a year adds 1.2 million metric tons of extra ore, enough to pay the entire mine's electricity bill. Fueling this monster requires 1,414 gallons of diesel, translating to roughly $7,600 per fill-up, plus 380 liters of AdBlue urea to keep Euro 6 emissions happy. At 51 feet 6 inches long and 25 feet 7 inches tall, the T-284 towers over a two-story house, casting a shadow that could swallow an entire pickup truck. Its dump body is lined with 25 millimeters of chromium carbide overlay plate so hard you could drag a railway rail across it and barely scratch the paint. The expected wear life is 25,000 hours, after which the liner is cut out and recycled into rock crusher jaws. Pair it with a P and H4, 800 XPC electric shovel, and it takes just three scoops, each scoop 120 tons, to fill the truck bed. Total time, 98 seconds, faster than you can order a latte. In the high-stakes world of mining, this speed translates to millions in savings. One Chilean copper pit calculated that the Lieber's lighter empty weight saved so much fuel that over the truck's life it paid for an entire fleet of shovels. The cab is a carbon fiber cocoon mounted on liquid-filled mounts that cancel 95% of vibration. Inside, noise levels hover at 68 decibels, quieter than a highway Honda Civic. A wraparound windscreen gives 312 degrees of visibility. The remaining 48 degrees are covered by augmented reality cameras that project a ghost image of obstacles onto the glass. Drivers can choose between 16 steering wheel resistance settings, Comfort, Sport, or Bavarian Tank. Maintenance crews love the T284 because the whole rear end opens like a Swiss army knife. Radiator flips forward, body raises to 65 degrees, and the engine module slides out on rails like a desk drawer. Lieber even offers a pit stop contract. Two factory technicians fly in on the company jet, change all oils, filters, and tires in 90 minutes, then fly out before your coffee cools. Yet even this Teutonic wizard must bow to the next contender, an upstart from the east that cracked the 400-ton barrier and brought a palace on wheels. Number 1. Bell SE 75710 The Supreme Overlord Finally, bow down to the Bell SE 75710, a Belarusian juggernaut that has held the crown since 2013 and shows no sign of abdicating. Nothing else comes close. This monster hauls an earth-shattering 450 metric tons, the same weight as three blue whales, two space shuttle orbiters, or 1,350 Model T Fords. Unlike its single-engine competitors, the Bell SE packs two MTUDD 16V4000 engines, each pumping out 2,300 horsepower for a combined total of 4,600 horsepower. The engines work in tandem through a proprietary load-sharing controller. At idle, only one runs. Under full load, both synchronize within 0.2% of crank angle, enough to keep the 4-meter prop shaft from twisting itself into licorice. Its two massive fuel tanks hold 1,310 gallons, and with fuel economy of 0.2 miles per gallon, every round trip guzzles 350 gallons, an amount that would keep a European family car on the road for an entire year. Measuring a jaw-dropping 67 feet 7 inches in length, the Bella Z dwarfs every truck on this list. It's turning radius is a staggering 65 feet, wider than most suburban streets, so mines must blast haul roads 120 feet across. The dump body accommodates 351 cubic yards, enough to fill an Olympic swimming pool with dirt and still have 40 yards left over. The floor is lined with 40 millimeters of replaceable Hardox 600 plate. After 40,000 hours, the liner is flipped upside down and used again, a trick that saves $400,000 per truck. Each tire is an 8.5-ton Michelin size 59-80R63 VRDP that stands 4.03 meters tall, taller than the largest sauropod femur ever found. 
A single tire costs $90,000 and is handmade in clermont ferrand France by technicians who must earn a master 63-inch certificate. The carcass contains 2.3 tons of steel, enough to build two Mini Coopers. Bell Aze recommends changing tires at 35,000 hours, by which time each has rotated 28 million times and traveled 140,000 kilometers, three laps of the earth, while carrying the equivalent of the Egyptian pyramids. Want the whole truck? Get ready to shell out $5 million, if you can even place an order. Production is capped at 12 units per year because the only factory large enough to assemble them is in Jodino, Belarus, inside a building originally erected for Soviet ballistic missile carriers. The overhead crane can lift 1,000 tons, but only one hook. Moving the Bella Z requires two cranes working in choreographed ballet. Shipping one to Chile means dismantling the dump body, cab, and wheels, then loading the pieces onto four separate heavy lift Antonov flights at $1.2 million each. Operators climb aboard via a retractable staircase that looks like it belongs on a Boeing 777. Once inside, they confront a dashboard that seems stolen from a spaceship, 18 monitors, a joystick normally used on coastal tugboats, and a button labeled Rock Yata, which means rocket, that engages turbo compound boost for climbing ramps with wet ore. The seat is leather-trimmed and air-suspended with a 300mm stroke. The belt buckle alone weighs 1.2 kilograms and is certified to keep a 150kg driver secure during a 45-degree rollover. A microwave oven is standard. Bell Z engineers calculated that a hot lunch raises operator efficiency by 3%, which over the truck's life equals an extra 1.8 million tons moved. Yet for all its bulk, the 75710 is eerily quiet. Twin diesel particulate filters and a 5,000-liter catalytic silencer drop exhaust noise to 78 decibels at 20 meters, quieter than a passing semi on the interstate. From a kilometer away, all you hear is a low, syncopated chuff, like a dragon snoring. Behind every mining truck stands an army of hydraulic excavators, machines so massive they make bulldozers look like toys. Legends like the XCMG XE7000, the Komatsu PC8000-11, the Lieber R9800G6, the Hitachi EX8000-7, and the world's largest Caterpillar 6090FS rule the dig sites. These giants weigh hundreds of tons, pack engines that crank out 4,000 to 4,500 horsepower, and drink diesel from tanks so big that a single refill can cost $20,000 or more. The king of them all, the CAT 6090FS, tips the scales at 980 tons and wields a bucket capable of swallowing 68 cubic yards of material. That is like picking up an entire living room, plus the grand piano, in one bite. Its 4,500 horsepower V20 could power a Nimitz-class carrier's auxiliary systems. The dipper arm alone weighs 110 tons, more than a fully loaded Boeing 737 without wings. And let us not forget the prototype CAT 6120BHFS, an experimental hybrid monster when weighing 1,270 tons that stores boom-lowering energy in a 5-megawatt supercapacitor bank, proving that the future of mining tech will be even more mind-blowing. During testing, it filled a 400-ton truck in three passes, then lowered its boom, regenerated 18 kilowatt hours, and used that same electricity to power the lights for the night shift. Engineers joke that the only thing it cannot recycle is the awe on people's faces. These machines are more than just tools. They are symbols of ambition, innovation, and raw power, designed to tame the earth itself. Every gear, every bolt, every gallon of diesel represents decades of engineering brilliance, logistics mastery, and human audacity. From the frozen edges of Siberia where welders work inside inflatable heated tents, to the open pit mines of Australia where 50-degree heat shimmers off steel like liquid glass, these titans stand as monuments to what humanity can achieve when the challenge is monumental. They move the copper that becomes the wire in your phone, the iron that becomes the beam in your hospital, the lithium that becomes the battery in your electric car. And as technology advances, autonomous swarm algorithms, hydrogen combustion, solid-state batteries, and 3D-printed titanium frames, one thing is certain, the giants of tomorrow will make even these legends look small. So the next time you hold a sleek smartphone, remember, its journey began 500 meters underground, scooped by a bucket the size of a studio apartment, hauled by a truck so large it has its own zip code, driven, or not driven, by a person sitting in an air-conditioned palace on wheels, watching the world through cameras and algorithms, pushing the frontier of what is possible one 450 ton bite at a time.